A small Long Island startup is launching headfirst into the world of virtual reality. False One's Brittany Comack is in Jericho with more. This is New Austin. It's a fictional city set in the year 2076, and it was born out of the mind of Jim Ivan here on Long Island. Ivan is the CEO and founder of Labradex Studios, a fairly young startup which hopes to make waves in the world of virtual reality gaming. Overwhelmingly, people were like, wow, this is really cool. You know, this is really interesting. It's exciting. The name of the game Ivan and his team are working to create and hopefully debut this fall is called Scraper First Strike. In the game, the humans take up arms to defend themselves against robots. It's based on a story Ivan had written years ago and had sci-fi writer Ryder Windham fashion into a prequel novel to the game. I am extremely prone to motion sickness, so I was not able to uh, enjoy the full experience, but it is definitely extremely realistic. I pressed Ivan on whether people will really be able to afford the VR experience that includes controllers, a headset, and motion sensors to mimic your movements. But he tells me as the technology grows, the systems have been coming down in price. Labradex's stake in things, he says, is creating an experience that isn't yet on the market by building on this most recent wave of VR. The, the games were a little bit more involved, a little bit more detailed, uh, a little bit more interesting, and had depth to them. So we're trying to build on that and hopefully offer something that's, you know, a real sit-down, persistent experience that you can play. The company already has an augmented reality product out on the market that people can download as an app, letting them play with a virtual dog. Ivan says in addition to more novels, he hopes to make multiple games and in the future approach Netflix or Amazon with a script to see this alternate universe on the big screen. You know, you have actors and you have lighting and you have set design and level designers and modelers and writers and everything that goes into it. So it's incredibly fun putting a story together and watch it come to life. In Jericho, Brittany Comack, BIOS One News.